In our previous expression for current division, if I rewrite the diagram, this is the voltage source and the current is coming and here this is R1, this is R2 and this one is I1, this one is I2, I1 and this one is I2. So what is the expression for I1? I1 is our R2 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by I and the I2 is R1 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied with I. So this is our formula and this formula is needed to solve this problem. Okay, so I erase this portion. Here, what is the value of IY as the current is being divided in between the two branches? So what is the value of IY? The reversal resistance is taken. So the value of IY is 2 divided by 2 plus 5 multiplied with our total I. So what is the value of total I in this circuit is 10 amps. 2 divided by 7 multiplied with 10. 20 by 7. By using this calculator I want to formulate uh, I want to find out the value of this expression. 20 divided by 7. 2.857 and similarly the I2 so the I2 is this one the resistance should be taken uh, opposite with our 2 ohm resistor so the value is 5 by 5 plus 2 into I 50 by 7 and the value is 7.142 is that clear and in this portion the i1 plus i2 is uh, always 10 so for the surety of your formulation you should add this to current and I am formulating over here answer plus 2.857 2.857 which is giving us near value of 10 okay so the 10 current is being divided in between these two resistance so the value of the I1 is this amp 2.857 amps and the I2 is these amps and in this right hand side over here the current is also 10 I1 plus I2 10 here another type of distribution has been happened over here so the value of I3 is the opposite so the opposite resistance is 2 ohm so 2 divided by 2 plus 1 multiplied by our 10 as the total current is 10 so one second 20 by 3 and the value of the i3 current is 6.667 7 amps and similarly i4 by using this current division formula i have got and in the lower part uh, I want to remind you one second that in the lower part the total resistance is happened so for the current division rule if the current path is I2 you should choose the opposite resistance that is located uh, in, in a parallel way 
and uh, that factor is divided by total resistance and multiplied with I. So this is the current division formula that I have shown in my previous video. And lastly, the value of I4 is the opposite, uh, the I4 arm is this one. So the opposite resistance is 1. So 1 divided by 1 plus 2 multiplied with total current. Our total current is 10. So 10 by 3. Okay. So 10 by 3. What is that? 3.333. So by using our current division method, I have got the value of I1, I2, I3 and I4. So this one is the value of I1. You could see over here, this one is the value of I2 and this one is the value of I3 and this one is the value of I4. So by using the current division formula, uh, and this is the basic formula of our current division formulation. So this is our basic formula to find out uh, the current division solution or to solve the current division problems. Hope you have totally understood all these concepts in a more logical or in a more precise way.